Hello, my name is Nico Hart and welcome to ESA Marathon Winter 2022. We'd like to thank our sponsors, Dermalogica Clear Start, ViewSonic Gaming, Fist Forge in Shadow Torch, and Twitch. And now it's time for KZ Through, Grand Theft Auto Vice City, the definitive, de de definitive edition. <laughs> Take it away. Hello. <laughs> the way you start <laughs> European <laughs> speedrunner assembly is with America, baby. <laughs> That's right. That's right. We're taking over. I'm not European either. You're not? Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> ooh, 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 ooh. That's the best way Hi. to start. Hi, folks. Welcome to ESA Winter 2022, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. as we heard already. Welcome back. Some things happened. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, we've been a while. We, it's been a while, you know, but here we go. We're ready for uh, Vice City Definitive Edition. Josh is going to learn this game live on air. Yep. Isn't that right? Yeah. yeah here we I go. All right, I'm <laughs> going to start the time right now. Let's just go. Three. Did it work? It worked. Yeah. Woo! All right. All right, let's go. Let's do it. Let's kick it off right. All right. Definitive Edition. Mm -hmm. Did you play? You've played this. I've played this. You've played this. Did you, you play three? Yeah, yes. Okay, you've played all of them. Yeah, yeah. All right. Of course I have. Yeah. yeah. What's your favorite? Three. Because the weapon switching. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. That's they a patched good one. it out, but yeah. Uh, no, they didn't patch it out. You can still do it. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You want to explain what they are? What the Definitive Edition games are? Yeah, or do you want me to? Uh, you can go through it. Okay. So, the these games are 20 years old. Uh, Ten years into their life, they outsourced a mobile port of the game to uh, some devel indie developers. Uh, and they were kind of, eh, whatever, but they're on mobile. Uh, for the 20th anniversary, they gave it to the same devs and said, make a PC version. Uh, it's not good. <laughs> uh, Here we go. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's about it. Um, yeah, it's it's the game, but now 16 by 9 and sort of HD, and uh, it's, they broke a lot of things. Yeah, it's interesting. It's like literally the same game under like the rendering layer. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I don't know what they did if that, they made like a script parser or something, but yeah, yeah. Um, it's it is uh, authentic in a way, <laughs> and yes. it introduces some of its own little little goofy things. The uh, the speed run, the route I'll be doing. Hello, the mission is here, dude. <laughs> Come on. Um, <clears throat> the, the route I'll be doing is actually going to be entirely different than uh, what you would expect. It's going to feature a lot of, uh, a lot of side missions. And uh, the reason we do that, I mean, we'll find out when we get there, actually. Okay, I'm but it, <laughs> it's, it's fun the way it works out because it's like, it's like the same time, roughly. I think right. world record is like a high 52, which is bad. Uh, <laughs> somebody should go beat that. Um, <clears throat> but... It is like roughly the same time, which is crazy. Uh, for like the first two days, this was like an hour 45 run, which is what I, I think I submitted it as. It was like hour 45, hour 30, and then uh, it got busted wide open. And I was like, yeah, you guys can lower my estimate by like 45 minutes. It's fine. Just, you know, standard things that we do. Yeah. So this is all more or less like pretty much the same, the same game as the old one right now. You know, we're doing the same thing. We're going to the party. We're going to talk over the copyrighted music that I can't oh, skip yeah, yeah, okay. because we have to wait through the fade. We're going to keep talking. There we go. Perfect. No problem. No problem. No problem. We're good. All right. We're, we're taking Mercedes with us. There are a couple of, of strange new things, like the first-person camera here has the bike in front of you. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No hands on the handlebars. That's how I drive my bike. All right. Pull up to the party. First mission passed. First one's the hardest one. Remembering to skip the cutscene is hard too. 100 bucks. All right, we just go on to the second one, Back Alley Brawl. Uh, in like OG, I'm just gonna call it OG Vice yeah, yeah. City because that's what, you know, it just rolls off the tongue. Uh, in OG, you're supposed to have done some like rampage goofiness. Uh, that's not applicable here, but it will be applicable later. Uh, this is Your my, my bike, on. dude. Okay, sure. Come back. Ah, well, I hope you're having a good time. I'm having a great time. Thank you, Ken Rosenberg. That's your lawyer. All right, bike's over here. No worries, no worries at all. All right, we're going to the Malibu now. Of course, the story of Vice City, you're a guy who keeps jumping off the bike because he's flying through traffic at way too high speeds. But you're Tommy Versetti. You come down, you come down to Miami to expand the mafia business, and things go wrong, and the mafia starts to run out of patience with you. Uh, Tommy decides to do his own thing, 
and Mafia doesn't like that. But, you know, we support them. We stand, we yeah, stand Vice City. All right, we met, we met uh, Kent Paul, also known as English Ben. <laughs> All right, this, there is uh, an invisible thing here. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, yeah. There's like actually, this. like, in OG, there's a barrier. There is some sort of, like, uh, some, some, some uh, pottery or, like, there's, like, a concrete barrier. It's still there, but you don't see it anymore. Mm -hmm. uh, we, just, we just beat them up. Clearly, we're very tired, and it is time to drive... Uh, to drive the White and Furnace, Mr. Uh, Mr. Lance Vance's vehicle here. So this is all standard stuff. This is all basic, you know, your intro, your your your, your standard stuff. We're gonna go to the gun store because you need guns. One thing you gotta realize about this. <laughs> good face, good face, good face, good face. We love that. Uh, the one thing you'll you'll notice me do, and uh, if you're sensitive to fast moving images, maybe you don't want to watch, but. There are, uh, there's going to be some, uh, some despawning happening here. You just flick the, flick the camera to like the left is what I do. And then you reset the orientation by uh, hitting like look right is what I do. Um, this is a cutscene you can skip in OG, but you cannot skip it in uh, Definitive Edition. You have those as well? Yes. We, yeah, fun. I know, right? This is the, yeah, you got the spinning armor. Still, still unfixed. Last patch was in November, dude. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? <laughs> It, the the armor is actually a pickup, not a model, right? I I Can guess you pick it up. I don't know. I've never tried. Okay. I don't it know looks how to like it. It has a light underneath it. Right. You would think so. Yeah. Maybe. Either way. All right. Cutscene's over. There's a little bit of break. That's when you check your Twitter. <laughs> That's when I check my Twitter. Um, and we just drive back to the hotel. Don't you see me walking here? We run over a guy. Perfect. Uh, at the start of the game, there's this cutscene that happens, but I didn't trigger it. So I'm going to try and grab that taxi. Nope, that's not happening. All right, no. don't run me over, Lance. Don't run me over. Don't run me over. Where am I? Where am I? I don't know. Okay. Okay. I need a car, and I need to not get busted or alert the police because I want to be able to take a phone call. There's a cop down there, but he can't see this. Oh, we can hear the alarm, though, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to swing wide here. <laughs> I'm going to swing wide. Good alarm, good alarm. All right, we're fine. We're all good. So phone calls, we're gonna have to take some phone calls here. Phone calls are a very important part of the game. It's how you do your storyline progression. You just listen to the phone calls. Can't skip them. It's not a modern game like San Andreas is. You can't skip them in SAD. You, what? No. <laughs> no, yeah, you can't. They took I, that feature away. Oh, it's buddy. it's it's in the game programmed as a widget for the mobile screen. Sure. I yeah. can't click. I can't press the button. Okay, very good. Well, I timed that perfectly. Phone call ends, and we start Jerry Fury, a mission that you do uh, basically effectively skip in uh, in OG, but you do not skip here because we can't do the Rampage fun goodness. We don't have access to, to duplication yet. So mission duplication. Won't really be doing that in, uh, in this run either, but this cop's going to be angry with me. That's fine. I got the laser eyes, dude. I'm always, I'm always watching. Always on the lookout for 5-0. Uh, not on the lookout for walls. No. No, you can't expect me to look at the screen. Come they, on. They make it so you can't fall off bikes? Uh, you can fall off bikes. But you, not as easily. Yes, it's yeah. just uh, it's way harder, which I kind of appreciate on some level because I don't like falling off the bike. Yeah. Uh, but also it's just kind of goofy. It's like all, all the little mobile tweaks. They're still just Yeah, yeah. yeah they're still, they, they still do exist for sure. Uh, another one of these little tweaks is that uh, you can just shoot these cars a few times. The, you used to, in OG, a lot more uh, health in these vehicles to trigger this uh, sequence here, but, you know, we just tone them down a bit for, for the new generation of gamers. And for me. Um, especially me. Which I greatly appreciate that. So we do have to do this mission. Just busting the two cars, basically shooting. You're supposed to swing a hammer at them, but you can also just shoot them. It's the same thing. Same thing, basically. You're just doing damage to it. Um, I need to remember to shoot this one like six times because every time I, <laughs> every time I've practiced this mission, which I don't practice the early game, dude. It's just it's whatever. You just drive around. Um, but every time I've done this, I've like gotten the, the extra cutscene, which is really embarrassing. So let's not have that happen. There we go. Perfect. Perfect. Executed brilliantly. <laughs> That's right. That's right, baby. Let's go. All right, perfect. Mission pass. That is actually no. That's not the uh, the end of the lawyer missions. There's one more. 
There's one more. There's I was, Riot. I was promised side missions. For you were promised side. Okay, I haven't unlocked anything else, man. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Patience, dude. <laughs> we're nine minutes in. He's like, where's the side missions at, man? Where's the side quest? We'll get there. We'll right. get there. What are you doing this mission? All right, in this mission, you just you shoot two barrels and you're done. Okay. Uh, have yeah. Donations? Yeah, we can do some donations while I shoot some barrels. He was on his phone, I saw him, that's why I said it. <laughs> Teach him a lesson. <laughs> Catching me off guard there. But we do actually have a, f a fair amount of donation, actually. We have a $10 anonymous donation. So thank you, Anonymous, for your donation. We have uh, Kwanzi with $25 with the comment heart emoji. Thank you very much, Kwanzi. Uh, we also have uh, Aquas with $20 that says, Hello, KZ. Hello, Josh. Great seeing you people there in person. Wish I was there. We wish you were here too. Thank you so much for the $20 donation. Um, you got time for one more? Go ahead. Right, we have Hoxy with $5. That says, Mr. Fru, will we see some more definitive edition bike crashes? Hashtag KZ Sports. <laughs> <laughs> and that also goes towards the Prince of Persia, the Sands of Time, any percent. No major glitches, community dub. So you guys are putting your money towards the incentive. Let's try and get a meet that incentive. <laughs> oh yeah, we just, uh, I don't, I don't want to listen to this phone calls, we just hold like that. It's fine. Um, anyway, so this is the, uh, the Colonel Cortez call. We've also unlocked, uh, Avery missions. We, we do, we will be doing Avery missions. We will be doing Avery missions. That includes, uh, all the fun stuff. Um, the, the, uh, the RC helicopter mission. Okay. It's actually quite boring. It's actually quite boring. Are you sure? Yes, I'm positive. Okay. Uh, we'll we'll talk about all the definitive edition goodness with that because they did they did change the way that like you fly the plane uh, a little bit. Well, it's not a plane; it's a helicopter. But we also fly a plane. The, we fly an RC oh, plane. We do like yeah, all. Yeah. We do like the two RC missions uh, in the game that aren't like just totally totally like random side quests, but uh, are like you know missions proper. So uh, first mission for the colonel. Just more bike driving, man. Just vibes. That's what Vice City is about. It's about vibes. It's about uh, it's about chainsaws and vibes. We're gonna chain. We're not actually gonna use the chainsaw. I'm gonna use my pistol. I'm gonna miss like 16 shots actually. Uh, this mission is like a, a gamer aim check, and I do not have that. So I'm an old man. Hello, Gia, sir. All right. all right. Great. Thank you. There are like angrier drivers in uh, in this. There's another yeah, one. Yeah, like, what is going on? That doesn't happen with that amount of frequency in OG. Uh, this uh, this is a little different. You can you can like smash your bike into the wall and it'll just reset its position. That's that's not an OG thing. All right, aim check, aim check. Do I have the aim? Do I have the aim? I need to skip the cutscene first. Aim check. Come on. <laughs> okay. All right. No aim. No aim. No aim. Aim check failed. It's fine. Chainsaw check win. We got it. All right, bike fell over. That's fine. Got six shots left. Do I need to? Do I need to shoot anything else, Josh? I don't flippin' know. You don't know? Come on, man. You're my backup. You're my boy. It's, I don't know what route you're doing. Like Avery missions. Yeah, Avery missions. Oh my God, we're just hitting all the all the expensive vehicles. Actually, we gotta get into a vehicle mission pass eventually. Do you need to shoot the bull guy? Uh, I'm gonna chainsaw the mall guy. Oh, okay. Yeah, we're gonna be doing that next. Chainsaw the mall guy next. Just doing all the Colonel Cortez missions. You you do see the A on the map there. I was looking at the map, dude. I was looking at the map. <laughs> no, okay. The, 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 too many pixels on the screen. It's definitive. It confuses me. You should be playing four by three. I know. I should be playing four by. I should be playing. Oh gee. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <clears throat> all right. Anyway. So moving on. I need to not fall in the water. If you fall in the water, that's really embarrassing. Oh, I wonder if I'll get a boat during this, actually. You can have a boat spawn in the concrete here. That's my that's my bike from before. Don't want to hit that either. I, I remember uh, when you were reacting to the trailers for this. Yes. People in your chat were like, oh, can you swim in Vice City now? And I laughed. What? No, no, why would it? What's that going to add? Cool. You can swim well, now, If you dude. fall in the water, it won't be as bad. I mean, sure, but, like, I don't know. Just don't fall in the water, dude. Just, like, <laughs> I don't know. Just don't walk in the water. All right, so we're going to the mall. We're meeting a meeting a courier. Cur the Colonel Cortez. He he demands very strange, specific things. These are like now he wants missile guidance chips. I don't know why. I really uh, you know the less questions I ask, the better is what I find. All right, so you wait until he moves, and then you assassins creed him. Jump down here, right in the back. 
Briefcase. Oh, no, no. The SWAT's coming. It's okay. The SWAT didn't plan for this. All right. So, um, usually, you know, if your name is PMC Trilogy, you, you miss that, and then you have to chase them on the bike, and then you uh. fall in the water! This is what happens when I talk trash, dude! It's what happens! It's what happens! That's a clip. He's going to make fun of me for the rest of my <laughs> life, dude. <laughs> it's over. I can't go back to the States, man. We got checkpoints, though. It's free. We got checkpoints. Yeah, yeah, no yeah. problem. That's Definitive checkpoints, dude. Very good. Very good. We're still going to be underestimated. It's fine. I hope. We're going to get like a 58. <laughs> you hope? I Yeah. You don't You, you, you don't want to be here for as long as possible? I mean, I'm, I'm chilling. Yeah, I'm chill. I got nothing to do. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we'll do this. This mission is so fun, you play it twice. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I mean, it's sick. You can see you can see that I'm consistent here. You'll, you'll see how I get it again. It's pretty easy, actually. You just got to wait for him to move. Shoot. I always wear something different. That's the thing they added in Definitive Edition. They added, like, more, more like, skins to, uh, to mm -hmm. characters for some reason. In SA, it's terrible because the gang members have random colors now. Yeah, they do. Yeah, they, they do that as well for, like, uh, yeah. For the gangs later on, the, mm -hmm. we're going to be doing the gang. All right, I'm going to take this for slow. <laughs> hey, hey. Woo! No boat here either. Oh, man. Very good. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. All right, good. All right, now it's Guardian Angels. This is going to be the, uh, I think, the last, uh, the last actual uh, Cortez mission. I gotta remember that I'm like I'm yeah, playing I'm definitive edition. I don't want to have like muscle memory and start the the fastest boat because that is not good. Um, so that's where we're gonna we're gonna jump off of the main storyline quests is we go from uh, the second Diaz mission, which is in like two two three missions. Because then you go from Diaz, from this mission to Diaz. Yeah 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 yeah. So okay, streamer knows the game. <laughs> All right, very good. Leave that there. Here comes Lance Vance. You know, you could do Cone Crazy, though. What? No. You're There's no Cone Crazy. Every, every <laughs> Viewers are always like, so what are you going to do Cone Crazy? And I'm like, never. No. And That's the one thing I wanted out of Definitive Edition <laughs> is not grind for money for five minutes. Sounds like fun, man. Dude, I love it. It no. br brings me back. Yeah. 2013. Really. Yeah, it brings me back to the Stone Age. Yeah? Yeah. Things were simpler and better. I know. We had Google spreadsheets for uh, for leaderboards. <laughs> we had Skype groups instead of Discord. Oh. It's like, uh, who, who, yeah, I know, right? <laughs> Terrible times. <laughs> now we live in the modern era. Yeah, we have mobile ports. All right, so we got a cut scene here. Uh, we're gonna be we're gonna be talking to uh, Diaz, and we're gonna be grabbing some grenades. In the meantime, I believe we have time for some messages here. Absolutely. Well, we have a very lovely donation of $250 coming in from the Red Wolf Networks. Thank you so much for the $250. They write, another day, another $250. We had to donate during our Best Boy KZ Fru's run. Fru, we told you to represent us, and you're doing us proud. You're my boy, Fru. Yo. You're my boy. Yo. And that $250 goes towards the community dub, the Prince of Persia. Hell yeah. Their sands are time any percent. Thank you so much, Red Wolf Networks, for the kind donation. You got something for tomorrow? Yeah, we're just gonna we're just gonna pop some heads off, so you know. <laughs> <laughs> no problem. Right, we have thirty dollars from Waffle Power with just a smiley face. Thank you so much for the smiley face, and that also goes towards the community dub. Thank you very very much for the thirty dollars. We have Harley Pan with thirty dollars coming, and they say coming in hot. You're the main man, man. Thank you for putting on my dear DE on the stage, Josh. Let's get some more DE, please. Mm. Come on, Josh. <laughs> it's what the people want. Yeah. We'll right. see how badly they want it when I open the incentive. Yeah. So uh, so this uh, mission is basically an auto-scroller. The only way you can speed it up is by um, uh, shooting these dudes as quickly as possible, or you can throw some grenades. They're going to – there they're, they're they are. Aww. See? I was way too early. That's not – I didn't practice that. I was like, I'll get it first try, and I wasn't even close. <clears throat> it's fine, you know? It's a lesson in hubris today. All right, so we got another aim check. I think I could pass this one. Aim check, aim check, aim check, aim check, aim check, aim check. Aim check. Free, please. There it is. Oh. We got him. <laughs> there we go. I didn't practice that one either because, you know, same logic. I'll get a first try. 
You've been practicing all week. What have you been doing? I wasn't practicing. It was, you know, it's like two days in the week. <laughs> all right. So uh, we talked to uh, to Diaz, and he's gonna. He's he's so enamored with our work ethic that he demands that we work for him right away. So we're gonna do just that. We're actually gonna end up on his island before we're supposed to get there in the very very classic gate zip. Let's see if I can oh. do the gate zip. I, uh, gate zip feels very easy in uh, in definitive edition. So it's like the only it's like the only like warp we're gonna be doing here. The very chase. fun. Huh? Chase. The chase is next. Uh, yeah, that you warp in that afterwards. No, no, no. Afterwards. No. Kind of. No. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we didn't explain the thing. Oh uh, yeah, the gate zip. There you go. We're we, we're through. We're through. We're through. All right. So you just uh, you just jam yourself into the wall. And the game is upset with you, so it puts you uh, on this island as punishment. You don't clip through this door later? Oh, we do that. Well, okay, that's a clip, but that's not a wharf, Josh. Hey, okay. <laughs> Come on, learn your terminology, please. All right, the chase. Diaz is rooting for us. He's watching ESA. Oh, one of these days, we're going to get down here. Okay, I'm going to throw a grenade. What? Yeah, it was an accident. Oh. I don't know where it went, dude. I don't know where it went. It's gone. Do I even use grenades? I don't know. I just get it. You just get it because OG. Maybe. You I don't actually need it. I don't know. I got, <laughs> I got, I got, I got, oh, man. I got gamer brain. I don't you think about You things. weren't doing anything else. Like. No, yeah. So, might as well, I mean, yeah. All right. So, some more uh, despawning here as we drive to the chase. Uh, this is actually, this is another, like, super old, uh, I would say, infamous strat where you just drive the dude to his hideout, and we're gonna be doing that instead of following him. Instead of doing the chase, we're gonna do the drive instead. Which version are you doing? That's what I'm interested in. Oh yeah, well, I mean, probably the safe one. Okay. Yeah, whatever that one is, I don't know. Because <laughs> in the Definitive Edition, you don't have infinite sprint. Yeah, you don't have inf infinite sprint, so you actually cannot chase him across the uh, the rooftop here. So what I do, what I personally do, I just get in the car again and drive. Why did I not do yeah. that? <laughs> yeah. There you go, Josh. Hot tip. Getting the yeah. hot tips right here. Straight from the source. All right, shoot the barrel to uh, trigger his movement again. And we're going to come over here. I have a one to start, but I don't see any. Uh, there's a police officer way over there. Hopefully he does not uh, arrive. All right, good. We're going to yank him out. This guy's going to turn. And we're going to drive to right here and be in motion when he gets in. Block the driver's side door and be in motion. And get some flat tires, that's fine. But we have our friend here with us in the car. You can kind of see his face. The, the the first person cameras are not as good in this version, dude. You can barely see the face. Yeah, yeah. In, yeah. in OG, you can see the face, and that's great. I love that. I love doing that. Um, but none, I digress. So, in OG, you would normally get the helicopter. Yeah. You would drive this into the water, and then you would warp, mm -hmm. and then you get the helicopter. That is slow now. Because there's really no place to use the helicopter anymore. It, okay. You, you Wait, can't, was that, that, was, that was a car okay. clipped into the bridge. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah, it does happen sometimes. Uh, either way, we're just going to drive all the way back. And uh, while we drive back, we, we can uh, do, some, uh, do some reading here. <laughs> He's got his water bottle. <laughs> oh, we keep doing this badly. The worst time. <laughs> No, it's all good, it's all good. I needed to hydrate, and I hope that everybody in the chat and at the event is staying hydrated. We have $50 from Zero K uh, Kieran that says, Great opening to ESA with KZ Brew and Josh on the mic. Looking forward to enjoying ESA this year. Shout outs to everyone involved making it happen. We have uh, to Zero with $10 saying, Wish I could be there with you in this winter, guys, but hopefully in summer. Good luck on the runs, the marathons. Let's get to $100. Thousand dollars, and that ten dollars also goes towards the Sound of Time Any Percent Community Dub, um, and we've also got um, five dollars from Marquise that says, "Good to see KZ through back at it again at ESA. The whole KZ crew is rooting for you." All the homies pulling up for for ESA winner. Thank you guys. Thank you all very much for the contributions. All right, so. We're going to grab a sniper rifle. We're going to visit okay. our hedge maze. Wait, where the hell are you going? I'm going to get the sniper, man. All oh, right. The hedge maze is on the map now. No yeah, yeah, You yeah. can see the solution. Oh, really? I didn't even know. I don't look at the map, man. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, it's like I, don't, I, never, I never noticed that, man. There you go. Easy. 
All right, so we have to do some jumping here because we can't sprint the whole time. It's kind of rough, rough life. Scuffed life, rough life. That's okay. We got sprint again. Uh, this is going to be the last main storyline mission. What? The last critical pay. Yes, this one. We're 20 minutes in. This one. Yeah, it's the last one. Okay. And then we just play side missions for the rest of the day. What are you doing here? Hey, I've been Until the game just ends. Until the game just magically ends. Okay. Yes. I'm looking All right. forward to it. We got some homies on the roof. Look at oh, yeah. that. Yeah. Squad. What are we doing here, guys? <laughs> Punishment. Aim check. All right. Anyway, so this is like the mission that, that follows the, the last one. You understand? <laughs> they go oh, yeah. They so yeah, this is like part two. It's like you chase them to the hideout, and then you go back and you snitch yeah. to Diaz. And he's like, okay, here's the helicopter. Go kill everybody. So, you know, who are we to say no? One, one of my favorite changes in all of Definitive Edition is in this mission. Look, the golf carts are smoking. Come on. It's hard, man. <laughs> You, in OG, you can like break out of the first-person camera, and then you don't. You're not tethered to the side of the. You yeah. Can look yeah, wherever yeah. you want, you, and also the first-person view doesn't like jump. You ready around. for my favorite change? What's your favorite change? It's about to happen. You ready? What? You gotta know what I'm talking about. Oh no, you gotta do the shooting first. Never mind. Continue. Yeah. I don't forget know. how this mission works. Okay. <laughs> yeah. In all of Definitive Edition, they made there's like a bunch of random changes they made that make no sense, and it's one of them's in this mission. After you're done shooting. Okay. Do you not know what I'm talking about? I think I might. I think I have a, uh, a guess. I do. I think I have a guess. Okay. It's so minor. Yeah. But it's just like, did they see speed runs and then be like, we're gonna stop them doing that? All right. I gotta gotta blow everything up. It's taking a while. Taking a while. Gotta get that guy. Ooh, that was actually nice. Ooh. Okay. Ooh, I got like both of those guys like in the same shot, back to back. Boom, boom on the uh, on the the tennis court or whatever. All right. Uh, we got some dudes on the roof. The uh, the helicopter is moving, so I have to like counter the movement by yeah. fighting against it with my mouse. All right. Will I? Okay. Will I get all three dudes here? Will I pop them before the cutscene? Okay. I got one. I got the one that says things. All right. Are you ready? Yeah, I know what you're talking. Yeah, about. yeah. And then and then cut to black. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, you can just like why. There's yeah I don't I don't know they, they didn't change anything it's like oh well, you're hiding in, the in fact the, that you just like jump off the yeah helicopter. in the original version you see Tommy just jump off the thing yeah why do you, why did they cut that I that's a great question I don't know there's just like no you know, there's no reasons yeah yeah so either way and there's like well I guess there's fades here originally I don't know but they feel longer yeah they are longer yeah yeah it feels I don't know uh, regardless now we do side missions the first thing we do is we load the game. What? Yeah, first thing we do is load the game. Load. Okay. Right. I'm not telling you why. <laughs> <laughs> this makes it a pretty awkward marathon run viewing experience. Uh, if you don't explain. Uh, okay, well, the reason is that this car is not spawned, so you load to spawn. Oh, okay. Uh, there you go. <laughs> I thought it was, like, technical or something. No, no, it's not. It's not. It's just, you know, you, you need a vehicle. So we're going to be using this for a bit of time. Ooh, there's an officer. Oh, I didn't want two stars. <laughs> I didn't want to shoot him. I wanted to shoot, like, next to him. Because that way, when you have one of the stars, you don't have the phone call ringing. And when you have the phone call ringing, you can't take the mission. So it's like it's like a minor optimization. But now I'm going to get busted because, you know, this is going to happen. Come in and park, your park yourself on the hide, son. Four iron. Uh, it's the mission where you... Oh they're already on to me, dude. They're on to me. Um, it's the mission where you uh, you go into the golf course and you uh, shoot the guy at the driving range. All right. Right. Uh, we get to listen to some dialogue here. There's a very important line that's coming up, and I want everyone to listen very closely. Is this me? Nice ass, baby. All right. <laughs> Sorry. I could have skipped that. I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta meme a little bit. You gotta have some fun. All right. Cool. How are you gonna kill him? Uh, so to kill him, we actually don't go into the golf course. Yeah, because there's a metal detector that takes your weapons yeah, away. Yeah, metal detector takes your weapons away. But we got a sniper earlier, and if you zoom in, you can see him from here. One, two tap, walk away, boom. Okay, okay. Easy, 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 easy. That's actually harder in OG because you can't see him, but you know, higher, higher draw distance means. It's, it's basically free. You used to have like a lineup, look at a specific pixel. Now it's just like, look for the dude. 
So why did we do this? Uh, we need to get to the mission Trojan Voodoo. That is the goal right now, is to unlock the mission Trojan Voodoo. Because these are side missions, to be clear. Like, this is... Yes. This is pointless. Yes, this is... You don't ever do this in, like, the, uh, the Interpersonal category in yeah, OG, yeah. which is no SSU. You don't do that here. Uh, none of this here. None of the gang missions, nothing like that. So it's entirely... Oh, it's okay, completely so. different. So... Yeah, I've never seen that mission. <laughs> yeah. So we now just do the, um... Now we just do this mission. Oh, I baby. mean, it's 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 demolition, man. I will briefly talk about the um, the control scheme because it's a little different. Uh, so I have to left click to ascend, right click to descend, and then I, I can't turn the rudder anymore. You used to be able to just like turn in place. You can't do that anymore. So I'm going to be like doing enormous turns around. I don't know why. I think maybe you can do rudder turn on uh, on. A controller I think but, so. but for some reason controller is a lot slower I don't exactly know why maybe you just don't get as hardcore of a tilt so uh, mouse and keyboard is actually uh, better for this and while we do this you know we got four bombs to plant we go up and down everybody should know this mission um, so while we do this uh, take it away Nico Hart Absolutely right. We have a hundred dollar donation from Cyberdust. That says, "Let's get this party started. Let's go." That hundred dollars goes towards the community dub. Literally, I'm just going to mention quickly. We are just shy, well, just a little bit behind, of get meeting that two hundred two thousand dollars. We're at one thousand four hundred seventy one dollars, so we can meet that incentive very soon. Put your donations towards the community well dub. Done. We have $20 from Poker Fakawati. I hope I said that correctly, but uh, apologies if not. <laughs> I try. Um, I love how Mackenzie said you can skip uh, barb roll, so cops were not going to happen again. So you've decided to deliver content in another way. I admire that dedication, through. That $20 goes towards the community dub as well. We have English Ben. Ha ha, he fell in the water. Ha ha. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. And that was a ten dollar donation again towards the community dub and Lord Mouse with ten dollar donation. Good luck on the first on the fast video gaming uh, Mr. Oh my goodness me. Mr. Dr. Professor KZ Frewington. Yes. Go rock the commentary and uh, well obviously also the gameplay. Also at Josh. Scarf. Uh later. Hold <laughs> on. Ben, where are you, man? Where are you? <laughs> where are you? He's hiding behind he's, the tank thing, I think. You're blocked. You're <laughs> blocked. Probably worth it still. All right, so uh, where am I, dude? Hold on. <laughs> I've lost the plot a bit. Okay, we're, we're ascending, we're ascending. All right, we go to the fourth floor for the third bomb. The reason that happens is because it's, it's a little easier to get back down all the way to the, uh, to the bomb location again. From the uh, from the fourth floor rather than the third, uh. so the third will be the last one. Um, oh my yeah, I mean, God. otherwise you just just ignore them, man. It's fine. <laughs> like they they're harmless, and they literally can't do anything to you. Um, I mean, they can, but you know. <laughs> so either way, um, after this mission is done, which I mean, there's nothing there's nothing really to do. I'm just it, it's, it's, this thing moves at the speed of smell. What is hard about this, guys? What's hard about this? Isn't this like What's that list of hardest GTA missions? Yeah, this is like one of these, apparently one of the, I don't see it, man. I'm holding W and left clicking. I'm bored. I'm not smashing the keyboard, like, with five buttons. It's, yeah. you know, I'll be, like, smashing the keyboard with four buttons, and then I'll, I'll, I'll start changing the camera, too. For no reason, I just want to hit another button. Might as well. So, either way, uh, we're going to wrap this one up here. Oh, my God. Is this explosion still fantastic? There we go. Okay. Oh, yes, it yeah, is. Yes, uh, oh. you know, it's very choppy here. <laughs> 20 year old video game, by the way. Alright, so, regardless, mission passed. This happens. And now we do the mission 2 bit hit. We had access to this mission chain earlier, but we didn't have access to 2 bit hit until uh, the end of uh, Phnom Penh. Uh, because that. That is the mission that unlocks the second island. So we needed to do that first before we came here. Otherwise, we'd come here, do two missions, go and finish Phnom Penh, come back. This is, that's a mess. That's a waste of time. So that's why we cram it all in here. Two-bit hit. Uh, this is the mission that leads to uh, Umberto missions, played by the marvelous Danny Trejo. 
Uh, we won't really hear much of him because <laughs> we skip his dialogue. Well, well, we don't we can't skip the phone call with him, so there's that at least. Um, so thesis behind this mission, you go, you get the uh, you get the outfit of the Cuban gang, and that is the uh, that is the outfit we wear for the rest of the run. We actually finish it in the uh, in the Cuban uniform. It's very fun. Um, so we dress up. the The idea is to like, uh, you know, false flag a, a gang war basically. Like dress up as one gang, shoot another guy of another gang, and then you know they 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 beef, right? <laughs> and that drives down property prices. I don't know. It's uh, you know there's lore here somewhere. So but what's the reason you're doing? Uh, because we were asked to. I don't oh, know. Speed run. Oh, to unlock Trojan Voodoo. Oh, oh, you're still doing it's that. Still, okay. We're oh, still, right, okay, yes, okay. that's still the objective. We're going to be actually doing that for most of the rest of the run. Because <laughs> it takes a while to get to that mission. So, okay. Uh, I need to pick the right gun. Weapon wheel? Yes, weapon wheel. I do use the weapon wheel. Yeah, yeah. They messed with the weapon order when you scroll. Yeah, which is the reason I use the weapon wheel. Because yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. like, I'm not, I don't, not learning this. Yeah, I don't yeah, know yeah. What the hell. I'll just they made it like GTA 5 weapon order. It doesn't make any sense. Yep. Yeah. So leave uh, leave the zone mission passed. Now we wait on a phone call from Umberto. That is the only thing we can do right now. In the meantime, we grab some armor, which is right here. I passed it. <laughs> Was a little too eager. Holding W for a little too long there. So uh, we got the armor uh, because we have to wait like 20 seconds for the phone call to come hey, in. And uh, this is going to be Umberto. He thinks we're a different person because. We have the phone call of a guy we killed earlier. And so he's like, he's ringing us up expecting the original phone guy. Uh, and then we just taunt him. And he's like, actually, if you kill them, you must be good at what you do. How about you work for me? Uh, you know, very logical. Very, makes, a, makes a lot of sense. Oh, we got, we got some crazy stuff happening here. All right, that is, that is Umberto. The very first thing we do is we prove our, our metal by, uh, by driving a boat around. You mean your cojones? Jones. Like <laughs> Jones, yes. Yes. So this is uh this is again this is just a mission where you just you, you do the thing. Uh, hopefully I don't flip the boat. I, I really should not. It's really free. You just hit the ramp, and you uh you watch the uh the slow mo. You got slow mo for like the first few ramps, and then it just stops. What the hell are those cops running? Those should those should be golfers. And actually, if you if you actually hit them with the boat, you get bonus money. I think. <laughs> Yeah, so there you go. I learned that like last year. I don't know. I've been playing this these games for like since 2014. I just learned something last year, so it's always fun. Thing that surprises me every time about these games. So get another ramp. This is this should be fine. It looks bad, but it's gonna be fine. It looks pretty bad. No, it's gonna be fine. You you can get way okay. worse on that. You can get way worse. Uh, I haven't had it happen to me yet in uh, in Why Infinitive. would you say this? What do you mean? Do you think I'm tempting fate or something? No, I already used up all my bad luck earlier when I fell in the water. That wasn't luck. No, that was... Do you think I was responsible for that? <laughs> Me? The guy playing the game? Yeah. Responsible for an outcome in the game? Yeah. That makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, we can do we can do some fun stuff. We can do a uh, cinematic camera. Get some, uh, get some, uh, some fly shots here. Game actually looks good, you know, every now and again. Sometimes. It yep. does, like certain times of day and angles and yeah. stuff. Oh, I should say that they, uh, originally when they launched the game, um, you didn't have cinematic camera. Yeah, yeah, it <laughs> so wasn't the game. They, they added that back. Thank you. Thank God. Because, uh, you know, it's fun. And we like to have fun. We also, uh, we can look at, uh, we can look at our guy back here and watch him rotate as we turn. He's always facing uh, a certain direction. I don't know. I think it's north or something. Mm. Yeah. Okay. We're good. We're good. You're twisting quite a lot. Yeah, I know. It's fine though. It's fine. This is the last one, I think. Maybe it's not. I don't know. I don't. I don't know, dude. It's just. You just do it. You just muscle memory. I don't think about this anymore. All right. So we've impressed him. He like. Uh, he likes us. All his friends have big Jones. He checks them. <laughs> so, anyway, uh, mission passed. It's very important. Uh, it's very easy. I actually fell in the water in practice, so I need to not fall in the water here. We're going to be on the dock. 
I don't, I don't know which button I hit to do that, but I want to not hit that button. So I'm just not going to press a button, turn around. Yeah. There we go. Perfect. Good, 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 good. If I fell in the water. <laughs> I've done like a bunch of hard stuff, and they clap for that. They clap for me not hitting the button. Ugh, Jesus. Um, if it would have happened, could just load an autosave because <laughs> autosaves right yeah. are great, dude. Yeah, we have an angry golfer here. Uh, he's pushing the, the vehicle that I want to drive. So this is Auntie Poulet. She is uh, the, the leader of the other gang, the rival gang. Yeah, just look at that. It's dented before I even get in it. Oh, oh <laughs> this is very fun. Um, so it's fast in the run to, like, shave doors off because, you know, then you don't have to worry about opening the door and closing it. So to shave this one off, you, uh, you actually do something special. You shave off the passenger door and it shaves off the driver door <laughs> i don't i don't know i it's the like literally the opposite of what should happen but it's okay it's fine it's fast it's optimal so now we're going to do some auntie poulet missions the first thing that we're going to be doing is juju scramble which josh is not trojan voodoo that is our objective still okay yeah, what yeah. we're doing i i just haven't Whoa. seen these missions before i know i know uh so uh, this is one where you collect three briefcases and the cops get angrier as you do that, which is actually good. A little, it's a little serendipitous. We want to, uh, we want to have a cop car uh, because that gives us a access to the vigilante uh, vehicle mission. And I'll explain why we want that later. Oh, jeez. Okay. Flat tire. Okay. So I'm going to keep my eyes peeled for a cop vehicle. I need, I need a four-door cop vehicle. I can't get a uh, I can't get a police cheetah. Those should start spawning soon. Yeah, I can't have one of those. It's fast, it's flashy, and it's nice, and it's cool. It has three mirrors. And it has three mirrors, but it's not what we we can't use it. Um, uh, hopefully, I can get one here. Sometimes this does happen. All right, good. Road, roadblocks are good because you can just it's free. You just walk up and you just take it. It's free. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> All right. Conned. All right. So, last briefcase here. Uh, I'm gonna go on a ramp that triggers a stunt jump, but if I do it a certain way, and I don't exactly know the way, but if you like, if you slow down, then you just don't trigger it. So that's nice. Cause then you get slow mo, and that's it. well, it's in the name. It's slow. It's slow motion. <laughs> yes. So I know. That tickled me. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right. Next mission is Bombs Away. This is the RC Plane mission. There's a, there's a little bit to this mission. Um, when I first started playing this game, I accidentally bound two functions to the same key. I bound all my alternate flight keys to my movement. So then when I press, like, W, A, S, and D, I'm actually doing, like, two things. And originally... I'll, I'll admit it, I was wrong. I, I blamed the game for, like, getting it wrong. I'm like, oh, they screwed up the controls. Actually, it was me. I screwed up my own controls. Uh, and because I'm used to it now, you can see we're stalling out here. This is actually not what's supposed to happen. Oh, But it's how I fly the plane. And because I'm used to it, I have to keep doing it like this. <laughs> and it actually, it is a little beneficial because stalling out helps with... Uh, blowing these uh, these boats up because then you go real slow and you can drop more bombs on the dudes before they get away here and you do a uh, you do a little bit of a turnaround here again going very slowly all right we got uh, we got a couple more guys is that everybody no we got two dudes there okay while well, I go blow up the last two dudes let's read some donations Absolutely right. I want to read one donation out because I enjoy the comments here. So we got Mitt Free or Mitty with ten dollars saying drop in a donation like Tommy dropped in the water. <laughs> I'll take it. You know, <laughs> I can have a bruised ego if it means more money for the uh, for the chair. That's fine. It's and totally we appreciate fine. everyone's kind donations towards the outside of funding as well. We also have $20 from Galzinator uh, that says, great event, guys. And that goes towards the Legend of Zelda, a link between worlds, any percent with the file name of Jermench. We also have PMC Trilogy. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't read that one. Don't read that one. Don't read that one. You know what? It's actually a nice, it's a nice donation. A $20 donation saying congrats to KZ Fru and ESA for kicking off this event. Also, Fru. 
I will absolutely make fun of you for the rest of your life. Oh, dude! <laughs> Unbelievable! <sighs> He's blocked too. Whatever. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> and just to wrap it up quickly, we have $10 from an anonymous donator that says, Say hello to my little friend. And this is all going towards the community tab. By the way, we are at three quarters of the donation incentive. We're at $1,506. We've got less than $500 to go. Can we make it by the next few runs? I'd love to see you guys donating towards the per Prince of Persia, Sands of Time, Any Percent community dub. Let's go. It's amazing. I, I've, seen, I've seen the dub. It's incredible. We've got to hit it. All right, we shot all the dudes. Um, that was the mission. Shoot everybody with an arrow over their head. Um, very easy. So anyway, um, now we have the cop car. This is going to be relevant now. Starting now, it's going to be relevant. The reason I have a cop car, vigilante. Oh, that's oh, that hits. Oh, oh, oh yes. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you don't like that. You don't like when that happens. All right. Anyway, so. Uh, turn the vigilance on, turn it off. Uh, there's no really no reason I just do that a couple times because every time you turn it off, you get an auto save, so that's really nice. Oh. Um, so we park in a very specific spot over. This is a rampage icon. The goal here, I'm already doing things. All right, here we go. The goal here, start the rampage and vigilante at the same time. It didn't happen, but we have auto saves every time I cancel it. So hopefully the auto save, good. The auto save does work. The door comes back magically. Saw that. Saw that off. There we go. We got okay. it. Vigilante and the rampage started. So now, now why would I do that? You're doing two things at once. I did two things at once. So when you cancel vigilante, you actually cancel your on mission state, which you're put into by the rampage. So when you stack those two things on top of each other, you're then able to um, cancel vigilante and go back into free roam. And now you can start a mission with the rampage running. The reason we are doing this is we're going to kind of chain rampages together this rampage is going to run out before the end of the mission i pick up another one after that because you're able to since that failing the rampage sets you back into free roam mode then you pick up another one you're back on what's known as on mission one and then after we pass the story mission this is not a story mission, but you know what i mean after we pass the mission the mission itself after we pass that then we can then start another mission and there's a reason, there's a purpose to all of this. Okay. The, the objective for all of that, shoot our friend, shoot by the way. Guy, yeah, the uh, well, he speaks, and when he speaks, it's slow. So if you shoot him, then he can't, you no longer can speak. <laughs> <laughs> um, so this is a, a silent cutscene where normally he would call for backup, but he does not because he's not here. So <laughs> they just show up in a taxi. Uh, very fast backup. Um, so then he would tell us to take out the sniper, but again, uh, we can just, uh, he's still you know. there. Yeah. Well, yeah, he's, <laughs> he's, yeah, I mean, all right. Anyway, uh, so we're, we're taking all of these guys out and then hopefully I haven't upset the, uh, my friendly gang because if I think it's like if you ki have killed more than one of them, then they start shooting at you like right now. So I haven't done that. We're all peaceful. We're all peaceful. Okay, they're shooting me. That's fine. That's normal. Uh, they actually cannot damage this vehicle, but they can pop the tires. So that sucks, but that's uh, that's life, baby. It's like almost impossible to not get. Like you can't have no pop tires, but it's very rare. So the rampage run out, and uh, you can see that we have some icons on the mini map here, which means like you can go to those missions if you want and pick them up, but there's no reason to do that. Uh, for the objective that we're going for here. So uh, this is a rampage that we can pick up. That is the uh, auto shotgun rampage. So uh, we just come around here. And uh, our objective, of course, is to pass the mission right now. If you look under the car, you'll see the box. Box through the uh, bottom of the car there. Also, the, uh, the collision doesn't map exactly with, like, the landscape, uh, which is another definitive feature. So I'm going to, like... Shoot, uh, I don't know, this. Try and get, like, a vehicle that isn't, like, a, a popped tire van. Alberto. Uh, at the very least, I can maybe stop, uh, there we go. Yeah, stop this guy. Uh, the cop car would have been nice, but that's okay. All right, anything works. I have 175 HP, which is baller, because this mission uses up a lot of that, you know. 
Health is a resource, and we spend some of that resource in the interest of time. So spending some of that health to go fast is good. Um, and we're going to be doing just that. Naval engagement, probably probably the, the one part of the run that I'm like least enthusiastic about. Uh, because, because it is a dangerous mission. There's a lot happening here. So we come up here, and uh, we greet our friends. This is how you greet people in the States. Watch closely. There you go. <laughs> <clears throat> All right. So... We're pulling up to the function, the uh, the uh, the deal happening here. Look at this; they're conspiring, uh, and we're gonna we're gonna ruin their day by uh, just blowing up their boats. Uh, the chain shotgun, the auto shotgun, makes this uh, fairly trivial. All right, I've got a dude here. I haven't had the dude every time. I don't know why. Sometimes the dude is not here. This time, all right, waste them. Good. Place that guy. Go and grab this briefcase. You gotta grab three briefcases. This is one. Uh, the guy I just shot spawns two more. I'm gonna get up a little bit close here because I need range. All right, switch gun. I can't see. I think he's dead. I can't see though because the text is in the way. It's very important you kill that guy because that is the cheap shot. You you pick up the uh, the briefcases. This guy's dead. Um, you pick up the reef cases, and then, like, you come over here, and, like, he shotguns you. And it's awful mm -hmm. because you just, like, you lie face down, and it's embarrassing and stuff. So you got to make sure you get that guy. That's the cheap shot, you know? Um, all right. Next rampage is uh, a runover rampage. We're not going to run anybody over. Uh, and this is the last rampage we're going to be using because the reason for all this rampage stuff, you want the phone call, you want your phone to ring. Uh, while you're on a mission. Normally that does not happen. And the phone is its own switch that changes on mission one to on mission zero. Because, and also, we want to be able to soft lock a voice line. And if you have the phone ring while someone is talking, then it, it does soft lock that line. So, the idea is we're about to start Trojan Voodoo. We're here, finally at this mission. Okay, we're here. I'm excited. All right, so we're finally here. First, we get punted by the SWAT. <laughs> <laughs> that's actually, that's going to that block my path here. Let's see. Uh, no, okay, it's gone. So you start Trojan Voodoo. This rampage runs out in a minute. So the idea is you soft lock a line, and that sticks that line, right? That sticks that part of the script. Okay, okay we're talking software engineering now. It sticks that part of the script, okay? And then we go and we buy a property. Why do we buy a property? Uh, because... That property that we buy, where's, where is he? Where is he? There he is. That property we buy lives right next to the penultimate mission, uh, Captain Collector. Uh, so then okay. we kind of break out of the property buying script into the Cap the Collector script, and then we unlock the, the phone call for the last mission. So that is why we do all of the side quest stuff. And that is faster than like anything else we've come up with so far. Uh, for Definitive Edition. Uh, this is not an OG thing. I, I forget specifically what versions this might have been on. Mobile, maybe? I don't know. Possible. I don't want to spread misinformation. Um, but uh, someone, of course, did try try this out, and it worked, and we, uh, we scienced a way to uh, make this RTA viable. So this is a specific setup. I need to shave the door off, so we're going to do that by grinding against the wall. There goes the door. All right, I need to wait until this guy talks. This is the line we're going to soft lock. Got to wait till he talks. Wait, wait, wait. All right, he talks, phone rings, and now uh, the mission is stuck at that line. So we can go. And we can leave the area. We're going to go buy a property. We're going to go buy the Schoolmo Shack, the cheapest property in the game, and a good way to uh, to easily save on the on the West Island if you're if you're a casual player. Very important one to get. It's right next to the biker uh, missions as well, which we unfortunately don't do. So I need to get out and cancel this phone call as soon as I can, because otherwise I would fail the mission. And I bought Schoolmo Shack. At this point. Normally, the game should crash, but it didn't because we did everything right. So, now we're no longer, <laughs> we're no longer on the Trojan Voodoo mission. Uh, that kind of got canceled. So, we go through the window that is visible still, um, even though we broke it.
And now, now all we got to do is beat the game, dude. And we're going to be underestimated. See, I, f I fell in the water. I made some money for us. <laughs> and I'm still <laughs> underestimated, baby. All right, okay, fair. That's right. Fair enough. Yeah, that's right. Unless I die, which I never do on this. This would be pretty embarrassing. So, all right. So all we got to do Why is like. Why would you say this? <laughs> I'm not going to jinx myself, man. I don't know what you're I don't. No. No, stop laughing. I'm not. <laughs> all right. So, anyway. Pull up. We uh, we hop the fence here. Eventually, uh -huh. okay. we eventually do this. Uh, fastest boat mission is still here, so we need to not take that mission. We uh, clip through the door, and this is the final mission right here. This is it. This is the mark of the final mission. We gotta skip the cutscene by just hitting the space bar once after the fade completes, of course, because this is definitive. There we go. All right, this is the bad guy. This is the final guy. This is the big guy. Uh, all of his friends are here. Uh, the mansion doors, if they are closed when you start this mission, which should never happen, by the way, but it does because we, you know, sequence break. Um, but there is, like, a, a failsafe. If that happens, they just delete the mansion doors. <laughs> and that is actually, that actually makes the mission harder because then the guys that spawn here don't get stuck on the doors because they no they're not there anymore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's a bigger space for them to run through, which I think was the way it was supposed to happen, but I guess when you're testing, you don't know. You're just like, okay, yeah, the mission works. Everything's fine. Um, but there are, like, bonus dudes, so there's going to be, like, more guys at the end cutscene. I don't know why guys aren't spawning right now, but I'm not going to complain. Um, uh, another thing that is uh, uh, about this mission that is, like, specifically a part of when you uh, do it when you're not supposed to is you can't actually get onto the roof which is where Lance is going to run. we got to chase Lance to the roof. Okay. And he gets on the roof. How do you kill him? Well, you just, like, stand next to the wall, but not right next to the wall, but kind of close to the wall, so, and then you can shoot through the wall, and then you can shoot Lance. So that's what we're going to do. We're coming up here. Come up here. Let's uh, get a gun out. Uh, not that one. Okay. Stand back a little bit. Stand further back. There you go. There you go. There you go. All right. So now all we got to do is uh, uh, knock out the big bad. And uh, that's that's the first run of ESA complete. First run of ESA Winter 2022. I'm very honored to have been the, uh, the first guy. Very good. I think I did all right. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Out of 10. What? Did... Yes. Yeah, I won't forget the time button. I've done that before. All right, all we got to do is, it's on auto scroller. like, you have to wait two minutes for this guy to spawn. Two minutes from the start of the mission. It doesn't matter how fast you kill Lance. It's like it's in an, an independent timer. See, here's the guys coming in. Oh, yeah, there is you don't, you don't get all these guys normally. Hey, you still don't get it, do you? Huh. Yeah, you don't get all these guys. Like, just shoot me. What are they waiting for? <laughs> I don't know. All right. Time is when you get the fade here after killing the big bad, Sonny. And time. 56. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nice. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Vice City Definitive Edition. Mostly side missions. Mostly oh side God, missions, Tommy, right? What, <laughs> what a strange what phenomenon. Like? Yeah. It looks like you're so, your suit and Tommy. That was a Yeah, I don't know. Tommy, Shout outs. How did that? Did yeah, find the disagreement with I the assume it was Poutnet. Yeah, well, he yeah. contributed surely. He he was the one who like figured out the Trojan Voodoo yeah, 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 yeah. Like the line because otherwise it's like I was science and something that was god awful and thankfully it's much easier doing it this way with soft locking the line with the phone call. So yes, uh, GTA people that could and couldn't be here. Yes, the GTA community. Uh, Jorge, I think, was the first guy to do the um the the cap the collectors insta pass in this edition of the game. And then, like, was no very adamant that it's anymore. faster. And I didn't believe him. It's and it was south. way fast. Oh, God, I was Wait, so wrong. <laughs> it was so Tommy terribly baby. wrong. And um, shout out charged. my mom and the vaccine. That's about it. Tommy. That's solid. That's solid. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you. Hold on. Hold on. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, Casey Crew. Right, before we go to the intermission, we do have a last few donations. Before we go, we got Tepi Loxel with $5 saying, I enjoy the look on Josh's face whenever something dumb happens in DE. <laughs> Lol. We also have Embarticus that says, 10 with $10 saying, best of luck. Let's go.